flying junior heavyweights have taken the ring as Trevor Lee, the reigning and defending Mid-Atlantic Television Champion, takes on that man, the Chiva Kid, the high-flying, insane Mexican goat from Guadalajara, referee Joey Hogan thoroughly checking him out as we see the champion, Trevor Lee. These two have faced each other countless times as well, just like we talked about in our opening contest. Both these guys very familiar with each other, very familiar with each other's style, but this is the highest profile singles match they've ever had against each other right here at the Chinlock for Chuck under the Omega banner on this huge, massive, spectacular card. I am so excited for these two to have this kind of opportunity. We have both been watching these guys literally since they were children. Some people would say it was probably illegal to have them in the ring when they first started out. Chiva Kid, I, I, I swear this is the truth, I saw Chiva Kid diving to the outside onto another human being at nine years of age. Trevor Lee was born and bred in Cameron, North Carolina, and that town certainly has a lot to do with tonight's event. Absolutely. Shoulder tackle from Lee, showing off the guns for the crowd. Chiva up and waiting on the champion. Side headlock takes him over. Trevor Lee's father, one of the founding fathers of the Omega promotion. Like you said, Grant, both these guys have been in wrestling rings their entire lives, been around wrestling the entire lives, and, and this is a big opportunity. Like I said, two championships are on the line here. This is a big opportunity for Chiba Kid to win one of the only CWF championships. Oh, Kip Up didn't quite get it, didn't quite, uh, did the boy. I hate that for Trevor Lee, because if there's one guy that does not take well to being embarrassed, it's Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee's ego getting the little bit the best of him there. Chima Kid, he has yet to really win that major singles championship. He won a title called the Rising Generation League Championship for wrestlers three years of experience or less at the tender age of 16. Trevor Lee currently holds the Mid-Atlantic Television title which he won eight days before his 19th birthday. Note I said the television title, not a junior heavyweight title, because the man Trevor Lee defeated for that title is a man about 100 pounds bigger than him. Absolutely, Chiva Kid flies in with a, with a drop kick. Oh, Chiva gonna fly, heads up, all eyes are on the goat up and over the top rope, no touch! No touch to the top rope, the athleticism of this guy. Absolutely unbelievable. Man, you talked about the, the history of some of these, the titles of these guys. You know, Chiva Kid, very briefly, was the International Ultra J Champion. And we all thought that that was going to be the start of his rise. Ex Cyrus swooped right in and took that title from him after only a couple of weeks. Now, if Chiva was to win tonight, we could see the start of a new television champion and really a new level in Chiba Kid's career. Like you said, that, that glorious singles title run has eluded him in his young career thus far. To win it on the chin lock for Chuck in front of all these people would be the best way possible to kick off a championship reign. But right now, Trevor Lee has got it firmly in control. Took advantage of referee Joey Hogan's positioning, shoving Hogan into those ropes, which inadvertently helped knock Chiva down off the top rope. Big knee to the guts. A lot of times in wrestling circles, cover. Holy guy, too. A lot of times in wrestling circles, you'll hear that just called a kitchen sink. And he just kitchen sinked him right in the midsection. Trevor Lee controlling the match, controlling his opponent. Referee Joey Hogan has got to get Chiva off the middle rope. I think one of the reasons we love Chiva so much is the same reason we have never seen him really win the big one for any sustained amount of time because he lives in the air, he dies in the air. He has the most insane high-flying maneuvers I've ever seen, and I think some he's still waiting to break out. I think you're exactly right. I dare say that no one on the card will take as many risks as Chiba Kid will. Trevor Lee has got him grounded, though, got him tied up. You know, in many ways, it wouldn't surprise me to see these two 10 years from now wrestling in front of 20,000 people instead of 1,000 here at Northern Durham High School. Or just drop kick. You're exactly right. 
Every now and then you run across some people that are just plain special that you see big things from cover. Only got a two, and both of these young wrestlers fit that description. Tugging on the horns is Trevor Lee. Is tugging on the horns a disqualification? <laughs> if you tug on my goat's horns, you may not be disqualification, but you're not going to be happy with the result. Twisting the head off of Chiva Kid. Trevor Lee keeping the man in good position, keeping him in the center of the ring where he cannot reach a rope. Joey Hogan right there asking the Chiva Kid if he wants to give it up, and again tugging on the horns. Just a few weeks from now, these two will premiere in front of another part of the world up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for National Pro Wrestling Day as we have Chiva Kid and the man he won the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles with, Eric Royal, who we will see later tonight, is Trevor Lee and his aftermath partner, the First Rate Converse. You gotta think both of these young men would love to carry that Mid-Atlantic Television title into Philadelphia with them in a couple of weeks. Action picking up here. Chiva, flying forearm, drills him again. Chiva, Moving, constant motion, big clothesline. These guys will literally move too fast for people to be able to call their movement sometimes. Chiba hooks for the suplex. No, Trevor Lee slips out. Boom! It's that big knee to the face. Trevor Lee has used to knock some people out with before. That knee strike is a money, money move for Trevor Lee. It's a game-changing situation. All the way up and over, standing shooting star. Press on the back, gotta roll the man over. This could be a new champion only two. It's so hard for Trevor Lee to avoid maneuvers from Chiba Kid when you don't even know which direction he's coming from. Absolutely correct. Chiba will come at you with something you've never seen before from a place in the ring that you never expected in a way that you do not think a human being can move. It was a very subtle thing. He did that drop toe hold. You normally expect someone to hit the ropes right after that. Chiba just out of nowhere hits that lightning fast moonsault just standing still. Looking it out now. Trevor Lee looks to be on Dream Street. Chiba spots again. Trevor Lee caught him. Sent him to the canvas and all the Trevor Lee's weight came down on top of him. Center of the ring, two and only two. Trevor Lee was looking awfully cocky there for something that looked pretty gosh darn accidental. Trevor Lee lucky to land on top there. Trevor Lee looking to get the crowd behind him. I don't know how much luck he'll have with that as every crowd we have ever seen has loved the Chiba Kid. He's one of those people that, that people just gravitate towards. He does so many incredible things. I don't think Trevor Lee's gonna find a lot of support here. Could be the out of gas, did not get it. Chiba kicks, couldn't tell if he caught him in the ear or in the neck or in the shoulder. Flipping, Trevor Lee caught him. Watch out. Nothing, did not get the slam. Chiba with the hurricane run right of the head scissors. Two, 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 two. Good Lord, that was close. All of us were holding our breath. As Joey Hogan's hand came down, I thought it was gonna be three. That was the moment, the moment for Ch Chiba Kid to win that Mid-Atlantic Television title. And now trying to figure out, figure out what to follow it up with. He was headed up, headed up to the top row. This is where he's at home, like you said. Both of these men want the win on this huge, huge night. Trevor Lee going up to meet him. This is where things are gonna get risky. This is where things could get dangerous. Trevor Lee is down. Oh my God. Chiba could come up with anything off of that top rope. Heads up. Shooting star got the knees. Trevor Lee got the knees up, cradles him. Both shoulders are down. And Trevor Lee has retained the Mid-Atlantic Television title that quickly, in a moment, in an instant, Trevor Lee pulls out the double.